Shea Bear's trip. And he's going to go in this. So he made this trailer, as you've probably seen on his videos. If you haven't, go to Shea Bear 1000 and you will see his video on how he made this. And he's going to sleep on it tonight at the campground. And he's taking my John Deere to drive there. So he's going to drive there on the John Deere. It is what, six miles? Yeah, it's six miles. So it's going to take him about an hour and a half, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's getting his stuff together. And he'll be out there this evening. And I'm going to go and check on him later, just before dark, so I can see my way getting in there. And, uh, yeah, are you excited? I've been excited. Yeah, I know. She's telling me again, why do you need so much stuff? I know. Well, I need my camera equipment or there's no sense in going. Right. Because I'm kind of making this trip for YouTube. Right. Uh, I wouldn't be doing this by myself right now if I wasn't YouTubing. No. No, I, I would. I would, I would do it, but not this weekend. Right. So, I, you know, i gotta, I got to get my camera equipment, my extra clothes, my packs on there. And she you brought your fishing bring rods. She suggested bringing extra wood just in case. I got a fishing pole on there, so really I don't have a lot of stuff. But I got a trailer so I can bring more stuff. Yes, you can. And then tomorrow night, I will go back out there tomorrow afternoon and we're going to stay another night together and we're going to sleep in the car because Sunday it's going to rain. We were going to take the tent, but if we put the tent up and it rains on Sunday morning, then the thing's all wet and then we have to bring it home and find a place to hang it and it's a pain in the butt. So we decided we're just going to car camp there, which we haven't done in that campground. <laughs> so we're going to car camp on Saturday, and uh, yeah, and we'll have a good time, maybe do a little exploring while I'm out there, and he's going to do some exploring this evening. I think I'll do a little night walk. <coughs> That'll be cool. And there is bears out there, so he has to be careful. There's heavy bear country there. Yes. Signs all over the place. Yeah. Hang your food. Be careful. Watch where you go. Don't bring food in tents. Don't bring foods in tents. Well, I bring potato chips in tents. <laughs> I, I know. I'm in the snack. middle of bear country. I heard... <coughs> I said, what are you doing? <coughs> Eat my Excuse chips. Excuse me. In bear country. She's, she says, well, we're in the tent. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can't get in that tent. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a car, you're good to go. A tent? Yeah, a bear can get in a tent. <laughs> You'll be fine. And he's bringing his little saw, so if he has to get more wood, he can go out there and get some. But he brought some. I mean, we have plenty here, so you might as well take some with him. Then that way he doesn't have to sit there and cut it if he don't want to. So, okay, so we will go out there, and we'll see him this evening. All right, so stay tuned. I love you, Joe. <laughs> Okay, there he goes, and we'll go out there in a little bit and check on him, make sure he made it there okay, because he will not have a cell phone signal out there. He'll have it almost there, but not quite. Once he gets on that road, I don't think he'll have any signal at all. So, I want to make sure he gets there okay and, and stuff, so we'll check on him in a little bit. Stay tuned.
Okay guys, so we're gonna go see Shea Bear now. I went to see, I didn't see him on the way, so he must have made it with the tractor. So that's a good thing. Um, we're on the dirt road that takes us to the campground here. So, um, go down here a little bit. It is getting darker. Um, I wanted to be here just before it got dark, but it's, it's a little bit darker than what I wanted, but that's okay. He's got my light, so I can't use the light, so um, that's okay. We'll have a light there, I think, I can use so you can see his little get up, and you'll be able to see it with the lights on because he bought some lights to put on it, so, and I'll show you what he's done. When I get there, it looks pretty cloudy over here. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, it looks really dark. See the clouds up there? I got the light in the car so you could get some kind of a light. Yeah, see how dark they are? Wow. Mm, it wasn't like that at my house, so I hope it doesn't rain for him. He really wanted to do this, so um, yeah, so. If it does, he's got his raincoat, and he'll be fine. He's got a cover thing, so he'll be fine. Okay, so when I get there, I will show you. I'll turn you back on, I mean. Be back. Okay, guys, well, I got to the gate. Problem is, I can't get into the gate. I don't know if you guys can see me. <laughs> I have Bruno with me. So he gave me the gate key, the gate number, and we came out here earlier and used it. And I didn't see him on the side of the road nowhere, so he must have got in here and they must have changed it a certain time. So I don't know <laughs> if I'll be able to even get in here in the morning because, you know, he's got all his stuff on his phone and I don't have... This really sucks, and this is what we were afraid of, because he even said something, Oh, if you can't get in, honk, and I'll come. And I'm like, well, I honked and honked, and I haven't heard him. And it's kind of far in there a little bit still, even if you open up this gate. So, and I'm not walking it, because it's dark out. <laughs> and there's bears in here, so I don't need to have a bear at me. Now in the morning, I can walk there if I have to. And um, that'll be fine. But I'll wait here a few minutes to see if he comes. And if he doesn't, I guess I'm going to the house because I can't get in. So, and I don't have my cell phone because my mom has it. Uh, I leave it with her because she don't have one any longer. She doesn't use it. So, I leave her mine and uh, I didn't bring it. So, I don't have anything. So, and um, he doesn't have service out here. So, we can't even... I can't even get a hold of him. So I'm going to honk a few more times and wait and see if I see anybody or hear anything. And then I'm going home and I guess he'll figure out that I just didn't come or something happened. Um, yeah. If you can't get in, what are you supposed to do, right? I mean, you know, this is stupid because, you know, they give you a number and you should be able to use the number for the whole two days that you're here for. And that's that. You know, they shouldn't change it until after. And they change it all the time. It was just like over on the other one, we got changed and we couldn't get out because they changed it. We didn't have a signal on our phones, so we couldn't, we couldn't look it up on the email to see if they gave us another gate number. Couldn't get it. So we got lucky over at the other place and somebody, um, you know, somebody uh, that was working there let us out. You know, or we would have been stuck there until somebody let us out. You know, it, it, it was, it's not very nice set up at all. I like coming here. There are great parks. Um, you know, they're free. But, you know, when it comes to these locks, it's bull crap. It, 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 what they're doing is, and I'm not probably, we're not the only ones that get stuck like this. I'm sure. So, I'm going to have to honk again. I don't know if he can hear it or not, but... Um, I hate honking because, you know, people are, people are doing their thing out here, you know. And uh, I don't want them calling the cops on me, but what am I supposed to do? So, I'll wait here a few more minutes and maybe somebody else will come up and, and can get me in there. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> we'll see. Stay tuned. 
Okay guys, I finally made it to him. He had to walk up there. I had to honk and honk the horn to, till I was blue in the face. And, uh, there you go. And, uh, so he walked up. He got the gate open for me. What did they do? Change it? No. So it's the same number? Yeah, but you had 0486. Yeah. It's 0846. Zero eight four six. Well, you had the four and eight mixed up. Uh, zero eight four six. Oh, okay. So that's what I had on my paper was o four eight six. Well, whatever. You had the two middle ones messed up. Oh. So anyway, so anyways, we finally made it here, and there's this little get up here. He's got it going. I got. I went back to the house and got a flashlight because I couldn't see. Put Isn't that cute? Down. Maybe they can see. Is that better? Put your flashlight down, away from it. Oh, like that. Yeah. There. Okay. There you go. He put his little lights up there. Looks cute. He's got it, and he's got his little sleeping bag in here. He's got everything he wants and needs. He did pretty good. Cute. Very nice. And I'd put everything in there. Oh, well, I saw that dark cloud over here. I was like, oh no. And it didn't rain at the house at all. So, and he's got a little fireplace here. You can see his fire. Okay. So, anyways, we finally got in. So, and uh, so, yeah. So, I went all the way back to the house and everything. And then I was like, oh, let me try again. Let me just try again and see if I can get in here. So, I did. Sorry. So, anyways, I will be back tomorrow, too. Um, I'm coming in the daylight, so you can see me a little bit better. There you go. So, yeah. So, I'm going to hang out with him for a bit, and then I'm going to go home, because I haven't even eaten yet. <laughs> I was more worried My about him. Up in the tree. Huh? My food's up in the tree. Oh, where? Up in the tree. Oh, there it is. There's his food up in the tree. That's what they tell you to do. <laughs> Cute. This is the same camping place that we were the last time that we got scared at. <laughs> yeah. It's got trails in through here. It's the same fire pit. Yeah, same fire pit. I had to move the table. It was over there where the tractor's at now, so I had to slide it over. Oh, yeah. This is a good spot here. It really yeah. is. It's nice and cozy back here, and it's just nice. The weather's nice. It's warm. A little probably too warm for him. But, yeah, we got warmer. So, anyways, I got Bruno in the car. He, he got back in the car, so he can sit in there. He's fine. Okay, so I'll let you know about more tomorrow, and uh, stay tuned for more. Monkey's out. <laughs> hey, monkey. You forgot your camera. <laughs> I tried to stop you, but hopefully you don't need it. <laughs> okay, let's stop recording now.